Hey guys, Trace with Lead Press here. Um, I liked a lot of the ideas that I'm seeing um, in this the the track uh, for menus in 3.0, and that's something that we've seen a really big need for in the past. And we were I've always been surprised it hasn't been a core component. So it's, I'm really excited to see that that happening. Um, and a lot of the ideas that, that are being thrown around are, are, are ideas that are already in place with a plugin uh, called the WordPress NAVT List plugin. Um, we've used it with a lot of success in the past, but it's become very buggy and it doesn't look like it's being developed um, much by its developer, developer Greg Bellucci. Um, and I don't offer this up as a solution to the problem, but more is just a, a wireframe, if you will, for one, one perspective to take a look at or one uh, version that incorporates a lot of the ideas being discussed that might be a, a great um, you know, leaping off point in terms of you know, actually seeing a visualization, visual, visualization or wireframe, if you will, of a lot of the ideas that are being talked about. So let's just go through this very quickly. We can create new groups. So right here, we've got a top menu group, a bottom menu group, and a loan programs group. And this is how we incorporate this into one of our sites. This is our top menu group up here. So our top menu. This is our bottom menu group here, these bottom links. And these are our loan programs right here. Now we could have used a text widget and just put an HTML code and put whatever we wanted there. But that's just a, a that's just not as, that's a, a not an optimal end user experience especially for our users that don't know HTML. So what we've done is we've added that as a menu. And in this case, we've got five loan programs. It starts with FHA, and that's what you've got here. If we want to change the order, make FHA number two, go back and refresh, FHA is number two. So the the, the way we add items is it's not all, all that unsimilar to text widgets, is we will click on something here, and it becomes an asset up here. We can choose from pages, categories, you can add users, so a link to that user. Uh, you can add a code block, a login, uh, all sorts of stuff. This one, user-defined uh, URL is very cool. So that would add a, uh, we can add our own URL. But let's just take a look at, at, at the functionality that's incorporated in here. Um, it, everything's gonna be drag and drop. So let's say we want home to be the, um, let's do this. Let's, let's make uh, programs show up in the first position. It's as simple as that. Programs is now in the first position. Let's put that back real quick. So there's two, two very cool things that are going on here. Uh, one, we can create submenu items. So we've got company information as a submenu item and contact us as a submenu item. This uh, client testimonials, this is actually turned off. If we wanna turn it back on, it's as simple as that. In this case, we've got it turned off or if we wanna completely delete it, we could delete it using that right there. So in this case, we can create the submenu items just by using these, these uh, arrows. So right now, company information is not going to be a submenu item. It's going to be a full-fledged parent item in the menu. It will show up right there. And again, it, it makes the, the menu too big. But just to kind of show how that, that submenu capability is, is we found very powerful. And you can also create submenus as submenus. So when I hover over company, I'm going to get legal and privacy. So we've got company and then legal and privacy, and we can create keep creating submenu after submenu, which is has just been great. Um, the other really cool thing that you can do with this is let's say we want to call home something else. We want to call it purple home, or better yet, purple rain. So we do that. Okay, obviously that's going to change. And something else that we can do that's very cool is we can come down here. There's a lot of functionality I've never used. If we want to make this a no follow link, you've got that ability. Um, Greg has incorporated a lot of stuff that I've, I've never even gotten to, but things like a text over graphic, different CSS properties, and each one of these items as well, which these are, these are inserted via PHP uh, call. Each of these groups has a ton of other items, which again, this is above and beyond what you know a first generation menu is going to have. But it's worth taking a look at in terms of just you know getting some ideas and and learning a little bit. You can control where this navigation group will show up. So I mean that's very powerful. That's good stuff. Um, there's a, there's a lot of CSS stuff that you can get in here, which is is very cool. And uh, I've never really gotten into the, the themes and stuff, but if you wanted to insert your own uh, calls or you know d define where menus will insert, that's where that goes. Anyways, I just I think it's a great starting off point. Like I said, we've used this with a lot of success, and unfortunately, we have a ton of websites we're gonna have to back this out of, which is gonna be uh, hopefully not too painful. But um, I think it's worth taking a look. If anybody has any feedback or questions, let me know. You can reach me at Trace Lee Press. Thanks.